I have to admit, seeing that Cristiano thing on the intro broke my heart. It broke my heart. <laughs> it brought it brought a tear to my eye. It brought a tear to my eye. So, guys, um, you've seen a lot of me today, either on Twitch streams or YouTube stream. My vocal cords are messed up. I need to sort of sober myself up because I'm a little bit tipsy. So, guys, on the hangouts, you're going to have to do a lot of the talking, and I'll try to monitor the chat and so forth. Um, so, you guys are going to take it away. So, first off, and you can even see, like, my voice is even coarser because I did a lot of shouting, man. So, um, let's get on to it, man. Um, Belgium against... Um, uh, thingy moment, Jake against Port Port Portugal. Um, hey, Jake, if Osasuna tries to join, like, please, please let him in. Oh, 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 yes, yes, I yes. swear, I saw, I saw, yeah, him yeah, he's, no, he's he is here, the he? most. Has he, no, he was easy, that's him, isn't it? No, he's not, yeah, that's he him. went to flop. That's him. He is, a, he's, he's a, a, yeah, yeah, a flop. yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure Juventus that's him. Oh, the leg, Juventus flop, Juventus flop, Juventus flop. Is that an AI or is that you far away from your? This is a demo. It literally says up there. Okay. Um, Osasuna, are you there, bro? Juventus flop, Juventus flop, Juventus flop, Juventus flop, Juventus flop. Osasuna, come on, grow up. Osasuna, I need I need an explanation. Look, Osasuna, we need an explanation from you. So all I need is. First of all, let me just set the stage. So you were very brave and you put your chest out with regards to it was impossible. Should we play the clip? Should we play the clip? It, actually, okay, does someone have the clip? I have the clip. Okay, Abdul, can you please play? So this was Osasuna before the events of today uh, between Netherlands and the Cizek Republic. Abdul, take it away. You guys are wicked, man. For calling us for <laughs> Double space. Double oh. space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's no apologies. You guys are fodder. We are just going to win the game. Macedonia and Ukraine, and you think you're something now. Yes, we are not something. We will just easily beat teams that are better, worse than us. It's just how it is. Mm. We have better players. We're going to get to Czech Republic. If Czech Republic give birth to you, will you be? Will you come to the hangar? <laughs> um, depends on if I'm awake. It's seven in the morning here, but he's I'll awake. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. Slept. Okay. I just, I just had to have that. I just had to have that. Okay, this is what I do for you guys. I also, Suna, can you eight in the morning? Also, Suna, can you please kindly, um, please give your thoughts after your very arrogant display with us to Netherlands? Can you just explain to me what happened? But please, just let me in your own words. Thank you. Okay, so listen, I had I had a couple hours to think about this, right? Um, sorry if I talk a bit quietly. Mom's still sleeping in the next room, um, but I I I I found someone to blame. It's you, H H. Right before the group stages, you said last. What happens? We come first. After the group stages. <laughs> You say we're something. You say Vijnaldum's the best player that you've seen in the tournament. And what happens? Vijnaldum plays the shittest game I've ever seen a midfielder play. Um, the Netherlands decides that we are just going to make all individual mistakes. You know I don't blame De Boer at all. Literally, De Boer, the only thing he did wrong today is bring on Promes when we went down to 10 minutes. That's the only thing he did wrong. He did nothing else wrong. Right? He played with the same tactics that got us here. He did everything there, right, except for that Promes substitution. Everything else was fine, right? Um, and the reason for the promise thing is because he's a win more player. He doesn't offer anything when you're down to 10 men, right? He just offered too much defensively. But for the rest, really, I can't blame De Boer. How can I? Right? When individual mistakes from... I, I, I'm going to list them, man. I'm going to make a list. It starts off with Malin, right? Malin misses that one-on-one. -on -one. Now, listen. You guys say, oh, it's just one chance, right? I watch PSV, right? I watch these guys. Malin is... Like, I need you to put him into Class B. Right? You say it was just as one chance. I've been watching him consistently over the season. He he is the reason that we got knocked out by Olympiacos in the Europa League. He's the reason we didn't even get close to winning the league, right? He missed so many goddamn chances 
uh, for us in PSV, and he kept doing it um, in the Netherlands now, right? What, what does this guy do? He's just fast. He's like uh, he's literally a Timo Werner, but slow. Did, right? did, did he just expose that he was a PSV fan? I am a I PSV fan. That. I didn't know that. Everyone knew that. Well, I didn't know that. No, but so yeah. Um, that's the thing. So this guy, he's been constantly missing. He does it again. He's literally Morata and Timo Werner, right? Then what happens? Right under counterattack of that same bloody attack, the league decides, hey, this is not uh, football anymore. This is handball. We are going to play handball now. Eh? He, like, this is a Juventus flop. Eh? This is just serious Juventus flop. He hasn't done anything for Juventus. Ever since he went to Juventus, they've only gotten knocked out by what is this, Leon and Porto. Like, What has he done for this club? Right? Um, he's a complete flop. Uh, and th he, it shows because, well, I mean, what, what is this game? What, it, this is football, right? We play with our feet, right? What we don't do is we use our hands. That That's illegal, according to the rules. If you do that, you get a red card. Now, clearly, some people know this and some people don't. The guy still clearly needs to look up the rule book again because clearly he does not know the rules of football. How can you play football as a professional if you don't know the rules of football? That's illegal. Next, Matthew Stekelberg. You're a legend to me. You carried us to the 2010 World Cup final, but today you bricked it. You completely bricked it. First, there is a easy, easy catch, easy catch, right? Um, and he he catches it, and then he just says, "Hey, no, uh, let's go for a corner, right? Let's give you even more chance now that we're down to ten men." From that same corner, uh, Von Arnold, who was complete bullshit this game, Von Arnold and Blit, our left side of defense was crap. Total crap. And Van Arnold gives away a free kick in which Stakelenberg again messes up by not getting to the ball at the back post. Back post sends to the front post, front post scores. So that's 1 0. Then Van Alden, who has been terrible today as well, I don't know what Van Alden, he literally did not make a sprint until the 92nd minute of the game. He was walking pace the entire game. He did not do anything. He was barely on the ball. De Jong was the, one of the only guys that actually could do something on the ball. Our right back was the most creative player in the entire team. Uh, and Vainolo gives away the ball. That's the second goal. That's game over, right? There are so many individual mistakes to which I can say, De Boer, what could you have done? What could De Boer possibly do? I wanted to come on here when we get knocked out and say De Boer this, De Boer that, De Boer that. But I can't. I literally can't. I have to only blame the players. How can you a group of professional players go into a round of 16 and make this many easy, easy errors, right? I had full belief that we would win because I did not see these errors coming. My bad for not seeing this. My bad for not thinking that the, the Lakers would forget the rules of football. My bad for not thinking that Malin would miss another 1v1. My bad for not thinking that Stakelenburg would be a total break. My bad for not thinking that the left side of our defense would be total breaks. My bad for not thinking that Vainaldum was going to break it today. Right? My bad. I'm so sorry that I didn't think of these things, right? I'm so sorry that I thought we would have better, uh, um, just a more organized team, more organized system, which we did, right? The Czechs had never had a chance against us until uh, uh, the list got sent off. Suddenly everything was chaos because we don't have mentality in the team, which is something that I realized as well. I realized after watching these two games today that, um, what's it called? These international games and the international tournaments, you can't predict them because it's literally just yeah. one small thing that happens in a game. Great if you look point. at the Belgian Portugal yeah. game as well. But, but just to stop because this because there is a dub that addresses that. So shout out to Khalil Khan for the previous dub and the heroes want to thank you for that dub. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Khalil Khan for the dub. Shane Schubert. Now I want you to listen to this very, very closely. Um um, also, soon because this is a great job. So, from Shane Schubert, who says, Lesson, don't hype a team for beating up the worst group. A team oh, who trains acorns and yams for 40 hours a week. Swamp yeah. Germans do you know back in the mud where you belong. Lord in heaven. Do you, do you well, know what I'm He's also talking to you, HH. <clears throat> yeah. He's oh. talking to you. Because you, you were hyping were the them up, saying they yeah. were the best. You team. were responsible for this more said, than anybody. No, 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 yeah, 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 you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Ginny Wildland was the best. Are you sure? No, 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 no. I said that I like Ginny in a bottle. You know the Christina Aguilera song, Ginny in a bottle. 
I'm a genie in a bottle. You better rob me the right way. No, that was what I was. I was saying genie in a bottle. The the pop song by Christina oh. Aguilera, who was listen, she was hot. Okay, listen, yeah, well, go for it. I mean, yeah. this, when I said that the, we were going to meet the Czechs comfortably, it was because the Czechs are this, another team like Austria. Like, how are the Czechs any better than Austria? No, 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 no. In no, my no, opinion, no, they're no, not. No, no, no. But, but see, Shane's points is, and I think his overall points. Honestly, his his my micro points is. Okay, you won in the, in the worst group, in the easiest group. Okay, yeah. how much should you hype him that won in the worst group? But his bigger point is never assume. Netherlands have not been in... They, they've missed out on two tournaments. You are in no position, however well you've played, to just come in and just assume. No, he was like, hey, I going. said that as soon as we faced a good team, we were getting knocked out. As soon as we faced a good team, we were getting knocked out. I said that. I literally said that. As soon as we faced England or Germany and Zemis, we were getting knocked out 100% because I didn't believe in the hype. I just said we are better than these guys, these Czechs. The Czechs are no better than the Ukrainians and no better than um, the Austrians. And I still stand by that, right? Every time Dumfries got the ball, the Czechs were shaking themselves. They didn't have anything to do until we got down to 10 men. And they're getting lubricated. They're getting circumcised. They're getting resurrected by those Danish people, right? Those Danes are going to circumcise those checks. They are crap. Hey, no, hey, hey, no, hey, 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 don't jinx me. You don't want your jinx. Why do people you know, keep making this Abdul, Abdul is mistake? Over. Abdul is over. Abdul is make this Abdul is over. Abdul is over. Abdul is over. This viewers is trying to tell us that. Oh, don't no. freaking ask. Abdul is finished. Don't be Disney no. matches. Do not it, take it, it, was a, it was a good run. 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 It was a good run, Abdul. You do realize that they're crap, right? They are totally crap. No, oh, you're did you not see them? Did you not see them play? I don't care about your narratives, right? I literally don't give a damn, right? It's oh. all about what I see on the field. It's all about what I see, and I see that these Czechs are no better than the Austrians and no better than the Ukrainians. When I watched Denmark against Wales, I saw something special from these guys, right? When I watched Czech Republic against Scotland, I saw two nice goals, and I just saw a little bit of nice attacking play. I didn't see that passion that I saw seeing from these Danish people. These Danes, they are actually... Oh, okay, really no, 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 no
Most of them had a plan. Actually, because I wanted to start with the whole Belgian thing, but look, since we're here, let's go. Next. So, Abdul, man, talk to me about Nev. Look, let me. This is the question I want to ask: Who is the main person to blame for Netherlands losing that? Abdul. That's easy, bro. Um, I had Marlon. I had I had other people say Marlon, but I just wanted to basically talk about the game and who was mainly to blame. Just read the game and mainly to blame Abdul. Yeah, the thing, the thing is, which I you can go back yesterday and see. I'm not the type of person to say you know I told you so, but I said Netherlands defense is shaky to me. North Macedonia, if they had a de- half decent striker, they would have scored two goals, two goals at least. Um, Delict he's always been like. He's always been he, – he does something great, but he can also brick it up like he done today because let's not forget he had that amazing block early in the game. Uh. Right? So it's not everything he done in that game was horrible because I think that, that shot might have gone in. Um, to be fair, HH, you know, because I know I'm, I'm on your hangout and you have like this strong agenda that this is only Delict's fault. Malin, bro, if he, he, he should have – like he should have scored that, and if he, if he would have scored that because uh, the lick he handballed the thirty seconds after, it was right after. So I don't know, man. The thing is, it's all, it's like this game actually reminded me a lot of the Italy game because like people seem to forget that Italy conceded, but they were saved by the offside. But it was very much the same that one team dominated the the favorites dominated the start of the game. They didn't take their chances. And when you don't take your chances, like this is the – actually, like this game, it's Barcelona in a nutshell. Barcelona in a nutshell. Because against smaller teams, we get a ton of chances. We don't take them. They hit us on the counter. We, we mess up. We make a mistake. They're leading 1-0. The game goes away. And that's just like – to be fair, like it's not that they had a poor game when it was 11 against 11. But when you don't take your chances, this simply can happen. It can come back and bite you. You know what I mean? Because if, you're, if you are leading 2-0 two, two or even 1-0 when you got 10 men, I think there would have been more confidence in the team to sit back and defend in a resolute form. But because you were 10 men and you still needed to score, that's where the problem was. Because you couldn't just park the bus um, because you also needed a goal. Like, it's not the same thing. Like, a goal would have changed the game completely. Uh, Delict, man, I don't know, man. He, I don't know, man. There's always, there always seems to be a mistake in him, man. And, you know, he cost, he did cost his team today. Like, the guy decided to play handball or, or basketball, bro, there in defense. Like, the thing, uh, the thing, like, for, for me, but, but, but the thing about this is that, like, like, it's, but it, it's, 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 why, why would you take a red card? No, no, like, it's a footballing moment thing because people say, Oh, he does a pen and handball and everything. No, I can understand why he did, did that in the moments and so forth. You're like, I've got to stop this guy from scoring, and, the, yeah. and it's like it's a quick re- reflex because you're like, Oh, shit, I messed up, I slipped. He's gonna go for it. If, if I don't get him, he's gonna go for a one by one one. He's probably gonna go to score. Let me just try and just stop it. So it's a quick reflex action, and I can understand why you would do that. It's just that you've it's difficult yeah, to happen so quick, defender, quick, quickly. For a defender of his caliber, yeah, he should know that rather give him the chance and even maybe the goal, because it's not guaranteed that he scores. Yeah, it's but remember he's young as well. I think he's about twenty one or twenty two, so yeah, I'm Dion. No, Delict. Yeah, Delict. Yeah, he's still young. He is still young, but but like a player of this caliber should know that rather be one nil down with eleven men than ten men nil nil. You know what I mean? Mm. For me, I would rather be one nil down, 11, 11, 11 men than uh, uh, than what's it called, ten men and nil nil. And for me, yeah, man, for me, it's just Osasuna. Uh, but I, to me, I blame this totally on Osasuna, man. He jinxed the <clears> living <throat> hell of that team, man. I knew it. HH, we knew it. We said, be humble. We said to him, be humble. This can happen. And it always seems to happen. Yeah, but but I don't know why. I don't know how guys haven't learned from me. Yeah. <laughs> I should be the <laughs> prime example. Because, like, 
it's so, and you know, this is always where I tell people in England, like English people, you've won one trophy in 1966. Why is it always coming home? Why do you always believe you have a chance when you have zero football history? So if you know that you're not a quality team and you've not really earned your rights, like again, Netherlands, you've not won a trophy since 1988. So you shouldn't be arrogant in what of say. It doesn't matter even if you're playing gutter trash. Be humble. Yeah. And being humble, it costs you nothing. It doesn't cost yeah, you yeah. anything. But the thing is, yeah, let's also be fair. Like um, Czech Republic, they played a decent game. They played a decent game. They defended well. And uh, that cutback to Patrick Sheik, man, that was, that was smart. That was smart. Like he saw that. Like that was intelligent. Because I think most footballers, they would just try to score. Uh, but fair play to them, man. And I'm looking forward, but I'm not going to underestimate them. They played a good game against Scotland, good, decent game against Croatia. And also, Abdul, for your Danish, you know, people, man. That's what I say, because it's funny, because, like, when Czech went through, like, someone in my um, message was like, oh, Denmark are through to the to It's like, yes, no, no, no. don't us. Like, for me, Czech Republic have a very good chance of beating Denmark. I, c I could see it happening. Because... Yeah. Once you're in, in a quarter, anything can now happen. You cannot. Yeah, for, 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 for me, it's a 50 50. For me, it's a 50 50 because, like, like, people don't understand this is the degree of difficulty what they did today because they were big underdogs. Big underdogs. But fair play to them, man. And let's see what happens. Like, let's see what happens. Um, so, who else wants to jump in on this whole Netherlands? Uh, I want to jump in. Uh, Zeman, talk to me. Yeah, the, the thing is, man, this, this this just shows how useless the group stage is in predicting the outcome in the knockout stage. And and this has been the case for the past couple of times. It's just that, you know, you would like to you would like to make your inference in, in your in your rationale and your reasoning, you know, towards matches that you've seen. You know, it's it's common. But the thing about the Netherlands versus the, the Czech Republic, I almost felt like it's not only the lit that let them down. It's Ronaldum. It's their attack, because at the end of the day, people people were saying a lot about Ronaldum's creativity and ability to create chances for his team, and people have been even criticizing Klopp for not starting him in those type of positions. There's there's a difference between playing international football with your nation and playing club football, and and to me, this guy in this game. Although he's although he had a great uh, group stage performances, he he wasn't doing enough in terms of creating chances. This guy only completed ten passes. He only had like thirty seven pass completions. Now Marlon is at fault too. That's the way I, I don't I know. No, that's no, the, the, yeah, no. yeah, that's the, the that's the problem. People people make these inferences about a player because of their international tournament. Like they, like they're saying Dumfries is this wonderful fullback or or you know wing back. The, the problem with international football is it doesn't necessarily translate to club football because those two things are totally two different, you know, to two different m mentality and atmosphere in general. So for me, you know, we could blame we could blame the lit as 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 the as the problem for Netherlands losing. But I, I blame the whole team. There's so many there's so many aspects. Their attack didn't do enough. Like 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 towards the end, the Czech weren't, weren't that scared of um, of um, Netherlands because they had nothing to offer. And so, I, th and I think basically the issue was um, they needed a Van Basten, they needed a Cliver, they needed a striker. Yeah, they, they, they don't have a vocal striker. They 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 they've oh, always had that problem, though. They, they, they've always had that problem. Even in the Nations League, people were saying they need a clinical striker. They haven't necessarily produced a clinical striker because their best striker, apparent, you know, apparently, is Malin. And, and that, that's a problem they're going to have to fix for uh, the World Cup if they end up qualifying for it. Zeman, how yeah. was your new striker today? <laughs> 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 bro, less said about him. How was Zeman? Zeman, I, 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 I was just about to say, it's funny, Jamal, bro, I'm actually, congratulations on signing Memphis. Yeah, Memphis, yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's great. Congratulations, congratulations for having <laughs> Memphis. <laughs> Congratulations for having Bruno Fernandez. I mean, he's doing incredible in the Euros so far. Oh no, 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 oh, no, Dory. We'll, we'll get on. We have a, a special section for Bruno. Dory. We'll, we'll, we'll get to Bruno. We have a special. Section I can't for Bruno. wait. Listen, I can't wait. My thing, Depay didn't nest. Depay for me, he was. See, the Depay isn't the your dependable goal scorer. 
So it's not a guy that's okay, my gosh, let's let's just depend on him to score goals and stuff, man. But it's like <laughs> Netherlands for me, I was like, okay, you need a guy where you knew that's okay, if an bastard is on this pitch, he can get a goal. Clive, yeah. the guy was born crushing. You know, if Clive is say he will find a way of getting a goal. They didn't Sam. have I mean what's Veghorst, Marland. These are not guys who can be relying on, on points to get goals. Yeah, so, I, 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 so, so hey, okay, okay. You can go, Jamal. I can go up to you. Wait, yeah, I, I was gonna say, yeah, the two main guys for Netherlands they was it was Genie and Memphis. And once those guys not having good games, Netherlands don't work, man. But what I want to talk about is how people can blame Marlin. Do watch. Marlin have 25% of the blame. But come on, bro. It's all the wit. Because first thing, he slipped. And then you handle the ball. And guys, I could just say this because I'm at home here. But I don't think Sheik scored at all. Because I'm watching the <laughs> angle. Bro, no. I'm watching the angle. And I don't think Sheik scores. I'm just saying. So for me... And even if he didn't um, handle the ball, let him score. It was in the 55 minutes. You still have plenty minutes to um, rescue the game. But going down to 10, man, man, I know it was bad. And Netherlands always do this, man. There are the international schools. They always bottle it, man. Oh, my word. Yes, yeah, they, they, are, they are the international schools. No, 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 because I, that's why I was saying that. Yeah, they bottle it. Because when we were looking at, okay, which is the most likely um, shock to happen, I said that it's Czech probably between the Netherlands. Yeah. And because I just want to say... times, yeah. this, like, they just know that they can just self-destruct and they all... They, so it's, it's not even a big thing even predicting that because just look at the past. So many times, teams that they should... Like, what's it called? When they played against Russia mm. in Euro 2012, yeah. they should have won. They were the strong favorites, self-destructed. Yeah. So... Yeah. And, and and as you see, and my thing that if you look at that second goal, you could just mm -hmm. tell that their bodies dropped, and that is the issue with Netherlands is that they have such a poor poor mentality. So yeah, whenever the going yeah. gets tough, they are really bad when faced with adversity. When faced with adversity, they don't they have, basically they have no character. Yeah, and I just want to say this last thing, H. I just want to mm. say Van Basten, Clivert, Van Pussy. To, to what's his name? Wigros, Wigros, that guy. Very that's cost. embarrassing. Very cost. <laughs> that, that, that's embarrassing. Actually, no, 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 no. You know what? That's bad. Do you know what's worse? Um, mm. Pele, um, oh. Romario, oh. Ronaldo, oh. Oh. Fred Flintstone, <laughs> and Casey and Jojo. Euros. From it's that to Fred Flintstone <laughs> and Casey and Jojo. Oh, no. <laughs> That is, there is no greater degradation of quality than that. Most, 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 most national teams have degraded, though, have downgraded in terms of their strikers, right? If you go from their, you know, from their historical best all the way to now, you'll see that most national teams, they don't have the same quality of strikers like back No, 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 but, I'm, but, but no, no. Yes, but <clears throat> the degree to which Brazil strikers, you see, it's the level. The, the, yeah, that's the, true. They drop... Yeah, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, like, from like, Romario to, to Fred, yeah, that's... Yeah, no, that's I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> Holland is... No, this is <laughs> a big drop. Because, like, these what guys... What about Spain? Spain is a drop. They got Morocco. Yeah. Yeah. Spain didn't always have a super star. Exactly. You can't you can just compare one golden generation to the winning. No, 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 no. Yeah, I would say that's... If we're rating it, I would say the biggest drop is Brazil. Yeah, then I'll say um, Netherlands, then Spain. Because Spain is bad, but it's like Netherlands. I like, know these guys are. See, Morata, we know is trash, but mm. at least he was, he came clutch in some games. Yeah, Moreno yeah. was second top scorer. Who the heck yeah. is Vegas? No one knows who this is. Nobody, see, nobody has ever heard of Malin and Vegas. Okay, Morata is trash, but we know him. He's yeah, trash, he's but we know him. Nobody yeah. even knows who Vegas and Malin are. Like bro, Marlin I sounds, think... see, Marlin sounds like a villain from the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, bro, That's I was thinking, sounds, sounds I was like thinking, the Lord of the Rings. Old Van Pussy, <laughs> it. Would you start a forty-year-old Van Pussy now in this Dutch team? I think he's better than these guys. Van Pussy at his nah. age now. Oh yeah, yeah, with yeah. with gray hair and a Zimmer frame. <laughs> no, no, even Patrick Clivers right now. Patrick Clivers with a with <laughs> easy, a easy, bro. belly and so forth. That's a nice game. 
hundred percent sat him in this game. Um, so so has everyone given their thoughts no, on Everyone in the main Let me just check. Let me just Okay, I'm gonna go to Emmy then. So why is Emmy? So I think in we've not we've not given credit to the Czech team, right? The Czech team neutralized this Dutch team. Like they started the Dutch team well. You notice in the first three games, um Dumfries has the right is it the right is the right back, right? For Holland. He scored the goals, he scored like two goals in the in the group stages. He was their main threat, um, actually, you know, to get either goals or to create that overlap on the right. Um, overload on the right. If if you look at today's game, he was neutralized totally. They they closed him down. They allowed the game to go on the other side. They knew Van Aanholt wasn't as good, um, you know, going forward like you know, like Dumfries. That just eliminated um, Wijnaldum also in the midfield. He was totally useless. So the Czech actually did a good job. I know, you know, I know. Also, I wanted to talk about the Lich. The Lich. He's still learning the game. Um, he's Ooh. not there yet. The Lich, Matthew the Lich, um, the oh. yeah, the the Dutch defender that got a record, right? The place for Juventus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's still learning. He's still learning the game. I, I've really? watched him since his Ajax days to his Juve days. He still he still makes a lot of mistakes. He still misjudges the ball, the, um, an area ball. He still so t- today's the area ball today is not the first time he's misjudging an area ball. Um, he's done it, you know, a couple of times, and he, sometimes he gets away with it because he gets a covering defender. But today he totally bricked it. The ball was very all he needed to do was stand, stand, and the ball. I know the ball, the flight of the ball kind of confused him, and he slipped. But um, he should have done a lot better um for that for that ball. And he should have just let the guy take on the ball and see if he could score. I don't think that guy scores. I agree with you guys. I don't think he scores. But yeah, the Dutch has always been the Dutch. Um. Unfortunately, they won't go far in major tournaments until they get that striker and until they get, you know, um, that commanding presence in their team that can give them that mentality to win games like today. Because as soon as the first goal went in, they just dropped. They lost it. And also, they're kind of a reflection of the uh, of the coach, De Boer. Um, De Boer. He, he also lost it too. No tactical inputs, ache. Kept on playing an open game, even though he had lost the man. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether he underrated the Czech. They've not beaten the Czech in 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 a competition in a while. Um, and I think, yeah, I think it's just, yeah, it's it's really bad day at the it's it's not the bad day at the office. I think we thought the hot, the Dutch team had overcome this hump, right? Like we thought they were going to do something in this tournament because the first three games. They were the best to me. They were top three teams in this tournament up in, during the group stages, right? Um, yeah, today they just showed us, hey, you cannot put your bets on us. Put your mortgage on us, you lose your house, you become homeless. Right. Um, Wiske, talk to me, Wiske. Um, so, f- first and foremost, to uh, Osasuna, bro, it is what it is. It happens to the best of us, you know? I experienced something in May. It's still fuzzy. I can't quite remember what happened in May, but it is what it is. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Be quiet, mute your mic. Um, so, firstly, on the whole uh, Delic red car situation, right? We're not. I don't. I don't want to say we want to blame Malin, but I think we have to definitely call him out on the brick finish yeah. that was, because. Guys, he tried to be a prime R nine. He tried ex- to be ex- a that's prime exactly, R nine. Literally, that dude thought he was the step over, step over, beat the goalkeeper yeah, merchant. It was phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. No, and <laughs> he completely bricked it. He completely bricked it. Is it, it was it was awful. He yeah, it was it was actually so easy to finish because the keeper actually already committed. So it was it was, <laughs> it was so easy to go around the goalkeeper. Um, in terms of delict, bro, I think I think the dude watched like. I think I think he must have watched too much of uh, uh, NBA playoff highlights before the game or something because he could I have. Thought you were gonna he, say something else. He, no, yeah, he, even even if he just went down, like if he just like collapsed on the floor, he would have stopped the the the, the um shake from running through. So he could have just done that instead of handballing it. Um, also, uh, Zeman, I know I know he's not here anymore, but I want to congratulate him again and all Barcelona fans and Barcelona out there. We saw uh, what this guy is capable of, but guys, no, no joke. He was he was trash. He his ball, he was his ball distribution, his his his, his decision, 
decision decision making in the final third was awful. His first touch was garbage. I don't know what was wrong with him today. Um, and also credit to um, credit to Czech Republic, bro. They got the job done. You know, it's oh. about getting the job done. And Schick, he's coming after Cristiano's uh, golden boot. He's coming after. He's coming after, he's coming after Cristiano. Can I respond? He called Actually, me out. So, so, real quick. so, so Cristiano left on what's five goals or four goals? Five. He's on five. five. He's, on he's on five, five goals. goals. He's on five goals. Respect him. Oh, and by the way, you know, not everyone can be Bruno Fernandez. You know, incredible, talented player who's yeah. really good at uh, control, close to tight control, yeah, control. Yeah, ability. Zima, I, I, I wish Barcelona would have signed a player original. like that, come man. Come I, I, I envy come you. Come I wish Barcelona would sign a player like come that. Come a guy come that's come yes to S. Every single one he touches. The Bruno section awaits. The Bruno section awaits. You lost Virial, bro. You haven't won a trophy in four years, and you're here talking. I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so okay, so so I mean, anyone else wants to jump in on this whole? Me. Um, Can I? Who 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 said? Me. Who? Okay, Me. Oh, Antonio, go for it, Antonio. Uh, so in regards to Netherlands, I just have to say that at the beginning, like in the first half, they were starting to get into the game, and then you know you saw glimpses, but then towards the end. It started to get a little bit disjointed. They weren't, you know, they weren't getting pummeled or anything, but they were not being very effective in front of goal. But then the second half, it started to get a little ugly. But then, as we've already said, De Lit just decided to say F it and just knock that ball with his hand, which, I mean, I, I don't really get – I mean, I understand why he did it. He didn't. He thought, oh, they might get on the counter or something and score, but he really didn't need to do that. He could have just uh, tried to block the ball and if not, try to take, you know, take the foul or something, but he didn't need to hit it with his hand. It just made no sense. And Depay didn't have a really good game. Uh, sometimes, like whenever he would get the ball, you know, just lost the possession right away. And overall, just not a good performance by them. Just very lackluster. And can't really blame De Boer. I, I actually think it is probably, yeah, the players mostly just making individual mistakes over and over. And it was just, just very lackluster. Like, I, it's almost as if, like, they were just – it reminded me of kind of, like, Italy versus Austria yesterday, how in, like, yeah. the second half, Italy started to – slow the pedal down, and then you just saw Austria going at them. It was similar to that, yeah. except this time they were down 10 men, and Netherlands couldn't cope at all. They couldn't come oh. back into the game. And they were pretty much done, and the Czech Republic just just played with them. And got to say, that second goal by them was good. It'll be interesting to see uh, them play against Denmark. Uh, that's a very interesting game. It's odd. Awesome. No, no. I mean, that's why. Like, <clears throat> we, we we can't assume anything because I think that's with these checkers, especially because they've beaten Netherlands and the way that they beat them, they they they're gonna be on something. So we so we cannot we cannot really do anything. So let me just hit so, so, some of these jobs, man. From Hakim, who remember, guys, Hakim is an Inter Milan fan. He's a diehard Inter Milan fan. Hakim says Lukaku amazes me every time I watch him play. Hakim. We're going to have a very honest conversation about Lukaku's performance because we saw Luke Skywalker, but we also saw Tim's. Oh, so we've got to be fair here. We we saw both sides. We saw Luke Skywalker, the um, faithful Jedi, and we also saw um, Timberland Boots from um, MTV Base. You know, Cisco and Hype Williams. So we have to deal with Hype Williams, and we have to deal with the Jedi. So don't worry, we will get there. We will get That's there, but let's be honest. It wasn't the great. It wasn't an overall perfect performance okay. by Lukaku. He did great things, but bad things. But we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, from Osasuna, who says Osasuna, people who think that a broke twenty-year-old college student's arrogance would change an outcome thousands of miles away are what we call insane. Broke twenty. Who is he referring to? He does not believe in magic. Who? Maybe you're talking to about the lit. No, no. He's twenty. He, he can't. 21. He can't be twenty. He's twenty-two. Twenty-one. Yeah, he's twenty-one. He's twenty-one actually. 
Oh, it's Okay, it must be delayed. Osasuna, I know this is must be painful for you, but Osasuna, you bricked it. You bricked no, it. No, like, he's talking about himself. Apparently, that's what he said. Oh, he himself. Yeah, he's twenty. He's twenty. He sounds yeah. old, man. Man, sis. So see, guys are getting younger and younger every day here, man. Guys are getting younger and younger every day. Um, so, no, 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 but, but look, I was saying, look, Osasuna, it's bad. I mean, I know like, you you flopped so hard. And Osasuna, we tried to warn you. We tried yeah. to warn you, but you didn't want to listen. I told you, learn from me. I should be the example. You should learn from me. Um, when Munzukov Thoughts said, I personally loved what Osasuna said at the end. Or what, what did he say? Why? What did he say at the end? I, I mean, I think overall, Suna just. I think he admitted that you can't. It's, it's, it's weird because he said, "Okay, you can't really as you can't read things and you can't take accounts for delicts being brain dead and just doing a totally stupid thing." Hence, why there is there are no assurances in football. For example, France should beat Switzerland. Mm. But here's the thing, though. Even if Switzerland beats France, mm. Shakiru that, that is a genuine, amazing shock. So whether it's a red card or whatsoever, but for me, there, I would understand you saying, I'm going to put 100% France beats Switzerland. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. 100% Netherlands beats Czech Republic? Uh, no. No. So there are. you should feel more assured on France beating Switzerland than you feel Netherlands between Czech Republic because Netherlands are a team mm -hmm. we know can self-destruct. So and finally from Osasuna who says Osasuna again worst part of this is that De Boa won't be sacked now because it will be viewed as not his fault. Because mm -hmm. it actually mm -hmm. wasn't mm -hmm. everything is chaos now. Now that is a great point. See yeah my thing is that's see the the headline is gonna be Delict. Yeah, and then a little responder will be, oh my gosh, if Malin has scored that 1v1. And it's mm. true. Malin scores that 1v1, it's a different game, and maybe the Netherlands go ahead and win. But the I don't understand how the 1v1 may somehow cause Delict to slip. He slipped. Mm. You know, it, and it was a costly slip, and he had to react to this, to, 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 but that's yeah. how he reacted. But, he did it, Terry. He did it. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's basically a chain of events. Like it's it's a chain of events just because it was very close in like together. And it was because of that miss that whatever play happened afterwards and which led to that. But it's still saying it's still Delic's fault mainly. It's it's uh, it's it's because my thing is what's even if they had a counter, you slipped. Yeah. <laughs> you you have to hundred percent go like get at Marlon for that brick miss. That's a brick miss. Yeah. Waske, here's the thing though. Waske, hey, is, see, Waske, first of all, it's a Marlon. Again, the only Marlon I know is a character from Game of Thrones. That oh, doesn't, that's not a footballer's name. That's, that's a Game of Thrones character. No, bro, as, a, as a professional footballer, you have to score no, that. No. So, so Waske, I can't get on a Game of Thrones character for missing a 1v1. Now, I can that's get cool. on a Game of Thrones character missing an open goal. Yeah. Even so, but a 1v1 is okay, you should score, but you're Marlon. Okay, so again, you're, you're you're a guy who I've never heard of. So you missed one of them. Okay, it happens. Now, if if he missed an open goal, oh, then we're having a different conversation. If you missed an, an open goal, so missing an open goal is much worse than missing a one v one. Okay, so um, but that wasn't just a one v one, man. The goalkeeper committed. He, he already committed. That's the thing, and and he ran straight into him. That's the, that's yeah. the most, that's the guys. Most we're talking trait. about a dude called Malin. Are we? Are what we trying to let him run? Not the ball. He still had to score that. Should 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 also get blamed. Should also get blamed also get blamed for the performance? This guy has zero key passes. Like he he contributed nothing to the attack. Like he should cool. be blamed Malin? as much. No 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 no. Why not them? Oh, I thought you were talking about Memphis. Yeah. Why is kicking? I would be talking about Bruno, but he's not starting. So, easy, easy, easy. Wait, 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 w
Robin right now, at this mm -hmm. moment, mm -hmm. would have carried Netherlands to, to Wait, like... But HH, quick question. Didn't Robin did that against the CS? Yeah, I was no. just about to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you really yeah. depend on them in big games? LB, 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 ignore them. I think they should have Robin as well. LB, yeah, yeah. if Ned Robin yeah, at his age right now yeah. would have Marling carried got possessed these, by Robin. he would have carried these because yeah. <laughs> remember he, he he carried a much worse team to a World Cup semi. If you mention Robin, you yeah. have to mention Kutsi as well. Also, like Robin wouldn't have carried ten versus eleven, anyways. Yes, mm. he would have because it's Robin. No, he wouldn't. He's different. Yeah. Yes, he yes, yes. Are, are, are you talking? Yes. Are you talking? Are you talking yes. Robin then or Robin now? Robin and now. Robin and now. Robin now. Right now. Yes. Robin now. Guys, I think, <laughs> guys, I think it's time for for the main course. Well, H -H, can, can we can we just give uh, Czech Republic some credit because no. No. you know nowadays, yeah, when a mm. team goes down to ten men, usually we don't feel the difference. Actually, like sometimes. Well, yeah, Jamal, man, one second, man. Just because Liverpool are going another 30 years without a trophy, man, you don't got to hate Joe. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but the thing is, like, they really made the, the one-man advantage count. You know what I mean? They really made it count. There are some teams that actually play, they, they actually become more dominant in the game when they, when they are down to 10 men. But no, Czech Republic, they made all the use of the fact that they were one man up, you know what I mean? Because usually we don't see the switch that quickly. We don't see the switch that quickly in in, in, in how the game is played based on the eleven to eleven. And well, 10 I'll, to 10. I'll be honest with you though. I was like, even when I was doing the stream, I said for Netherlands is that you know when you look at guys who are good with with ten men, they're only good because they're a well established team, and they are disciplined. And he must know how to protect the ball. This is this is still a youngish team that still don't really know themselves fully. This is still Ronald Koeman's, um really. This is really his thing that he really did. And obviously, Dubois has come through because you could just tell that once the man once they went a man down, they didn't know their left front from their right. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's really 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 so you see, Abdul, that only works when basically it's like um, Italy, Arab, like old school Italy. Then yeah. 10 men, they, they will ride us out. Either yeah, to penalties. Yeah. You see, look at what they like in 06 against Australia, down to 10 men, compact, protected the ball, defensive strong, and then they found the, the breakaway and, and, and they got the penalty. Holland, yeah. they're not experienced. They don't have strong chemistry, and this thing about Netherlands is, when faced with adversity, Netherlands always crumble. Like teams like Germany, like Italy, these are guys who, with adversity, they've got the character. Netherlands, they just when with adversity, they just up. Oh. If it but goes well for Netherlands, see, see, when it goes well for Netherlands, they are amazing. When it doesn't go well for Netherlands, they're just completely, completely turned into a you're disaster. Right, you're right, you're right. But you're HH, right. that's another key thing. No one has really brought up. Like I get. Netherlands forward lineup is declined from like the Cliverts and the Van Bastens, but they're missing their best player, Van Dyke, who's also a leader and a general in the team. So, oh no, 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 but okay, you bring Van Dyke, okay, the, the defense is a lot more short up, and that's, that's for sure. You're still missing a finisher. Even if Van Dyke was in this team, they lose to a better team. They will lose yeah. to a better team. Like, if, if they were to meet. A Belgium, or even if they met like England or Germany, I, I think they'll just lose, like maybe one zero or or something like that. So the issue with this team is they don't have a. It, there are some, there are some, there are still tons of players there. I still think Denzel Dumfries is talented. I still feel Frank De Jong had a great tournament. I yeah, think he, I thought he, right, he was great. good. He was yeah. he was really good. So and Holland will always produce quality guys, but this team is ne is not touching a trophy without that guy. Uh, That's because they don't have really like you look at when they reached the final. Snyder was best player in the world guy. in 2010. R yep. Robin was that guy. Netherlands mm -hmm. don't have a single guy who you can say, oh, apart from Van Dyke. See, apart from Van Dyke, Van Dyke is the only kind of world class best player in his position player that, that they have. Frankie yeah. is knocking on the door, but Van Dyke is the only established world class player they have, and that's it. Hey, do, you think, do, you, do you think overweight Schneider could do something today? Come on, no, no. Hey, like, <laughs> 
Like, like I saw what he looked like. The guy, yeah. the, the guy looked, looked like a, he looked a like a bouncer. He looked like a bouncer. Yeah, the guy looked like a pedophile. So, wait, no, hey, James, I got, I got a quick question. Um, speaking on Snyder, peak Snyder, where, where does he rank in like the best midfielders ever? I think you have to narrow down the count. If he's saying of all time. Mm. Uh. Top fifteen. I, I can. I, I don't think mm, yeah. top ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in terms of just that number ten position, we have to have a discussion. Top ten, number in ten. In terms of just like 10. the art of through ball and just create and just creating. You see, if he had won the blunder, which he should have, then we'd be like, hey man, let's talk about Snyder because Pete Snyder was an excellent. Mm. Excellent number ten, guys. It's let's 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 get to this main course, man. It's we 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 we, we, we this, too long. This is man. gonna get ugly. <sighs> God, oh Lord. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start here. But you know what? Let's 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 let's. By the way, guys, guys, better be careful when they open their mouth. Let's. I'm just saying. Let's I, think, talk I, think, I vote for having a drink, though. Let's let's start with them. Um, is this is this over for Cristiano? No, no. Great point. Career you see, here's my thing, and, 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 and I want you guys just to, again, anyone can jump in. My question is, and this is for, for the live chat. So, for live chats, I want you to say what's also for here and the live chats. Should Cristiano retire? Should he retire? Do we need I to speak him on the way? I don't know. Uh, uh, I the, que- I don't, the question wait, 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 is, wait, 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 don't get me wrong, I'm no Ronaldo fanboy or anything like that, but like, why should he retire the way he's going? You know, five goals, the way he played, you know, in this whole tournament has been, you know, phenomenal. Three, um, pens, three, 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 pens, three penalties. And one tapping. <laughs> yeah, but he's still Respect the pens. Zero um, assists. I saw a photo of, I saw a photo, um, I can't Shameless. remember a photo of Ronaldo on Facebook a couple of days ago, um, and they sort of compared. Um, him to the Ronaldo of the 04 Euros and in terms of, you know, the physique. The guy has not changed, you know, one bit. You know, he's, oh. he's, the, he's the definition of an athlete, you know. Um, so oh. I don't think he should retire at least until oh. the end of next year's World Cup. So he's still got it, in my oh. opinion. But oh. just to remind him... But what Ronaldo does he have? For, like, because, Albie, this guy goes around... Looking for tappings, looking for penalties, <laughs> trying to dive. You see, LB, is this really something that we should promote in football? And LBC, my thing that this is because I, Cristiano is one of my idols. That's He's one of my, my goats. Natural. Um, yeah. So Natural. I'm actually trying to do this. Um, I'll try to do it. Um, Latin, you should be focusing on your work. If I'm going to call your boss and say that you're not focusing on your work, so la- trust me. Latin's boss, can you watch your money? Your, 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 your man is, is, is watching a hangout instead of focusing on his work, man. Um, um, some, someone said um, Bruno should retire before uh, Ronaldo, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, this man. He's, he's a complicated United fan. He's a complicated United <laughs> <agent>. fan. <laughs> this guy is a complicated United fan. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. He's a complicated United fan. He's obsessed. I guess you're back. He's obsessed. <laughs> too, many, too many bad childhood memories. You know, I gave him too many bad childhood memories. I mean, do they have a point, though? That's the real question. Bro, those, those NASA bills, they're too expensive, you know? No, no. It's going to get violent. 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 Come on, guys. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno wasn't that bad. Gonna get back. Bruno wasn't that bad. Oh, I swear oh, to God, he's a Henderson with shooting boots, bro. That's all he is, bro. You know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? Because, man, you have a midfielder called Ding Dong. The young Ali showed up in the Euros, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Remember that last time? Remember that round? Wait, wait, wait. Remember the Messi interview after the loss to, like, Chile? And then he was, like, sort of crazy. You know what? Uh, I think I'm good enough. Imagine if Bruno <laughs> gave that same interview. <laughs> After not starting, what is he crying about? Uh. <laughs> oh. You guys are wicked. You like his are. first tournament. <laughs> he retired. Nah, but to be fair, to be fair, I've been getting Bruno. I'm losing your starting position. Season, what man. type of, Just what type of notion is that? He wasn't even a starter. Okay, I said okay, it okay, in the beginning, man. Bruno. Bruno so only shines in United because he's among shittier players. 
Wait, so nobody here says Cristiano should retire. No one. You, 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 oh, you oh no, I don't think you should. You, you do know the you do know the World Cup is in next year, right? Yeah, this was and his he last Euro. To go to the World Cup. But he still wants Who to go to the World Cup, man. It should take your own fear away, man. No, no, I'm just saying Who the nightmare scenario still lives. The, 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 nightmare, the nightmare scenario still lives. Just say. Oh, H H, you do know that Zlatan is 39, right? If Zlatan is 39, why Cristiano can't go till he's 39? Because Come okay, on. because okay, okay, okay. Can I can I respond to that? Yeah. Jamal is because I care about Cristiano and I care about his well being. And I fear that I don't want to I don't want him to um really harm his physical state and his physical body. The Walker, because I think that he is you've got hundreds of millions of followers, kids look after you, and the thing that will three hundred million, heart, million on Instagram, by the way. Three hundred million. The the thing that would break my heart is if this dude was to get a long term injury based on overplaying, man. That's the thing. So I just wouldn't want that to happen to him. So let me you see because my thing is that look, Cristiano actually he played all right. This is actually yeah. one of isn't, the isn't that I, isn't that ironic though? Isn't that ironic? It was actually it, 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 one of his better games. Okay, wait. Let me hit some dubs. Let me hit, hit some dubs, man. So, um, from King Umbani, who says um, Lukaku plays in a weak league, very good with Belgium, definitely not a top five striker. Umbani is smoking crack. You're smoking crack. Inter still win the title with a cane. Um, Top, top finish, but lower with Lukaku. And you see, King Gobani, you are you're talking about a guy. First, first of all, his name is Larry Lane. Get it right. His name is Larry Lane, and Larry Lane has still not yet registered a goal. Okay, a dude, a dude one shot on target. Shake, one shot on target. A dude called Sheik has already doubled the, or I think even tripled the amount of goals that Larry Lane has. So don't be mentioning about how Larry Lane should could, could do anything. And I think can you please well, Lukaku is a top five striker. Whatever he does at the zeros, he's already a top five striker. AJ, when he, when he lost that. step up in a big game, like you always criticize Messi for scoring against Aba, but the last What's time Abdul, 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 did I wait? I know did that did I ever did I ever ever ref, does has anybody ever referred to Lukaku as the goat? No, no, but how is he a top well, five? You did refer to him as Tim's. If he never steps no, no, no. up when he's he really top five, <clears throat> did, wait, did I say when... top of three? Did I say he top of two? against That's Juventus four times this season, one penalty goal. Abdul, Abdul, four in times. this time, in this um, day and age, which other strikers do you put ahead of him, knowing that they are shit? The don't, don't, don't say Morata of or, or Vena. Did you say Braithwaite or Niang? No, he said Braithwaite. I'm taking you, Kubi. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me get some of this stuff. So, whimsical thought says, whimsical thought says, Pepe was a beast. Sad. This or oh, now this is sad. Sad. This was his last Euro. Yeah, man. We'll miss characters like him in football. Pepe. They don't make guys like him anymore. Pepe is a Let me be real with you. Pepe puts in work on Lolo, on Lukaku. Pepe put in that was down. Let's, let's keep it real. Pepe shot down Lukaku. And I think Pepe, ever since he before, was, Lukaku uh, shot down himself with Dr. Yeah, no, 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 no. His control shot him down, bro. His control Every, shut look, him down. We'll get there. Look, guys, we'll get there. We'll get there. But I'm saying that no, Pepe shot him down. And look, Pepe, look, let's keep it real. He's now he's not going to be in the conversation as one of the best defenders of all time, but we need to just put just a little respect on Pepe's name as a de- as a defender. Mm. Just a little. Mm. I think he doesn't get a, enough respect mm. in terms of what he does as a um, as a as a defender. Machine is yeah. smoking crack. He's not the best I center we've ever seen. We will relax. Do you know um, why? And we last thing, okay. Really? And speaking of machine, dub from machine. Remember, guys, machine is machine is a. Um, multi millionaire, like Jesus. So, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Looks like she Jesus. looks like white Jesus. Yeah. He's a multi millionaire who lives in two mansions, has a family with, with he has a family with kids, but <laughs> obsesses over Christina 24 7. That's true. I want to just put that out there. Respect. I just want to go out there. Respect. So, Machine says, Thank you for the Lord Machine. Machine says, Fernandez, Jota, and Semedo should all retire before Christina Ronaldo. Thank that you. Hash. Thank you. That's harsh. 
and Messi should <laughs> and Messi should re re retire. This is what's being in, in Hollywood. Gossip, you know, it gives you this very sick twist of humor. And it's okay, it says that um, Cristiano said the next World Cup will be his last international tournament. Respect yeah, the goal. Oh, for God, did he, does he have to? Does that, that mean he's going to continue? Like the winter's coming. The winter's coming. He's going to continue like club football, bro. To. Winter's Chris, coming. Cristiano, I'm begging you. Okay, look. Let me... Okay, look. Um, Cristiano, I'm talking to you directly. This is a PSA from your boy, um, Half Hope. You've done enough. You are the goat. Mm. Okay? He doesn't believe <laughs> you, man. I mean, no, come listen, on. Listen. Cristiano, if you retire... I will call you the goat. Okay? Deal. I will say Deal. Is a liar. Yeah. Deal. If you retire, I will call you the goat. Please. So you don't need to be at the walk up. You don't need the walk up. It's fine. You don't need it. <laughs> I like, I like how you wink, but we can't actually see the wink of the shades. <laughs> Save yourself. Um, Man, that's free PTSD. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and finally, from your boy Hakim. Um, so Hakim says. Umbani is smoking crack. <laughs> Plus 30 Gs in two seasons in a row. Top three. Hakim, relax. Top three is too much. Hakim, relax. Oh, Cristiano. No, no, no. no. Oh, no, no. He, he said, um, look, no, Hakim is, a, is, an, oh. is an Inter fan. He's an Inter fan. Oh, okay. Hakim, relax. Ha look, uh, Hakim, I can give you top five. Hakim, I can't give you top three. I can't give you top three. I can give you top five. I can't give Lukaku top three. So, Didn't guys, Cristiano look, um, outscore him in Syria? Okay, guys, look, Thorg. <laughs> the Thorg. The real Zad. The real Zad. The real Zad. Oh, hold on, guys, guys, can I ask a question just quickly? How yeah. old is Togan Hazard now? What, 28? 28. 28. He had, he had a decent career. He had a decent career, but I think he's over now because you guys are about to hype him. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, see, he, see, HH here, he has no right to speak on Thorgan's name. Mm, he disrespected yeah. him throughout the tournament, bro. Yep. We stood up. We stood up for the real Zard. We, we stood up for the real Zard. No, 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 no. Why SK? Why SK? What makes you think that man, Why are you speaking? Why are you speaking? No, 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 no. Why are you speaking? Why SK? Why SK? Let me talk. Let me talk. Do you really think... Do you really think... Do you really think... Do you really think HH is going to try to attach Eden Hazard to this? You really think he's not going to try to attach Eden Hazard to this and give him credit? No, no, no. No, no. Of course, it will. It will. It will. Of course, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to say. That's the reason why we're talking about him, bro. He, 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 he but he has, he, he's complimenting as in, as, as if like he's been uh, saying this for years now. <laughs> We've been saying it. That has been a myth okay, for okay, so why years it? now. Since Baku, we I, haven't oh, seen him. Okay, so why is it? I can't apologize. No. No, you can't. You, 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 you have no you shame. Don't mention Eden Hazard. Don't mention Eden Hazard when you're talking about him. And then yeah, let's mention yeah, that. You, you, so you, don't you, mention you, it. You, you, Can you I talk about Eden's sex second half performance? Are we allowed to talk it's about like, it? Like yeah, no, no, we can. Separate section. Separate section. Separate section. I'm making a compilation of his second half performance. You, you, like, you know that that's happening. Oh. I'm making a compilation. You know, you know I think it's going to be 30 seconds, bro. I'm making a Titanic Big Mac's here after a while. It's hamstring win. It's a hamstring win. Guys, wait, 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 guys, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so... Yeah, making a Titanic music. That makes sense. Because Hazard doesn't want to say Talk about Torg and that goal. Talk to me about, about Torg and that goal. Um, it was... Guy, so how many people think are on it? Because I'm curious. Because there's, there's a lot of people calling that goal a fluke. How many people uh, on here is calling oh, that a, no a fluke? Okay, okay, okay. Exactly. Wait, wait. Who saw the how is that exactly? That's what I mean. No, no, on ITV, did, did, you, did you stay behind to watch the... Did you stay behind to watch the um the analysis after? No, no. because oh, 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 what they were like saying? they were like um oh the keeper should have saved that because it it was it was a it was a it, they didn't like the skill to do that kind of shot the knuckleball shot that that takes skill to do like he he meant that so yeah. they were claiming as if in fairness see let me be real, real with you this is when any anybody who plays with football don't want to understand he did not. Mean to hey, I want to shoot this thing and head it to Swift. Oh no, yeah, but yeah, yeah. You just when you just catch the ball in the sweet, sweet spot, 
Yeah, it's yeah. like that's what um, Pielo was was saying about um, Juninho Penombo Bocano because Pielo said that he learns how to take free kicks from Juninho because that Juninho said that if you hit the ball in the right spot, it's going to give you that swerve and the ball is just going to move, making it very difficult for the keeper. So, mm. yeah. obviously, to, no, no, talking was okay. It was a good. It's okay. I'm going to hit it, but it just happens where you just manage to strike it with the right power and hit it just in the right spot where it swerves. And for Patricio, it's impossible because... No, yeah, see, that's, that's the, the thing. Is, like... The ball is coming to you, and as you're trying to save all in real time, it just swerves at the last moment before you leave. It's impossible to... Yeah, you, to you saw it. The, the crazy thing is, you saw it in the replay constantly. Like, you saw Patricio commit to his left because it was initially... Sorry, to his right. Because it was initially going right back and swerved back into his left, so it's, it was a very, very, very good finish from him. And I thought he had a very decent game. And hit this whole tournament, he has been nothing but, at least the bare minimum, he's been decent this whole tournament. You know, he's and been I, putting. I, I also, like, like I, is he, he's playing like left back, so that's not his normal. Yeah, he, he, no. He, well, um, well, when when Zad comes in, like whenever he comes in, he like drops back more deeper. So he is essentially playing as a wing back or a more advanced left mid, where Zad is like a more left wing kind of position. Um, he, defended, he defended well as well. Defended yeah, exactly. Well. He's defended yeah. well as well this tournament. So he's doing everything down on left hand side. So you have to give this man credit. <laughs> you you cannot, bro. You cannot say anything. Along the lines of like, oh, you 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 knew all along about Thorgan and knew all this crap. Oh, you no, 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 disrespected no, no. this guy every I'm time you mentioned okay. his name. Why is it? I miss that. I, I can be classless, but not that classless because hence why. <laughs> are, you my, sure? are you sure? Are you sure? We have receipts. Are you sure? We have receipts. We have. I said that. I'm sorry. Did I you? abused him. I called him baby hazard. I call him, him the bro. and in in the process call by him calling him by calling him Thorg, you also now ruined him as well. So just <laughs> he's gonna. He, oh, this is the decline. No, no, no. It's the beginning, it's the beginning, the beginning of the beginning. decline. Now. Why is it? There's a V at the beginning. The the talk, the talk. There's a the after the, 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 the talk, the talk, the, the talk. And look, Every... no, go on, go on. You know, no, no, see, no, look, look, no, 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 no guys, talk, talk. Who, who wants to talk? So Jamal, Jamal, go for it, Jamal, Jamal. Yeah, I was gonna say. Everyone who you have given a nickname, they actually they flop after. So please don't call him that. Keep calling him little bro. That's what you have to call him. Keep calling him little bro. Yeah, man. And guys, YSK, you're my guy, but we have to be real, guys. Hazard Ball, I hate to say because this guy is going to get yes, but Hazard oh, no, no, in that see, no, no, half, I was going to say yeah, that. Yeah, talking no, about no, no, Zoom into my, zoom into my AV. Say. Zoom into my AV. I'm, I'm showing respect. No, I'm showing no, respect. no, 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 no. But, wait, 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 wait. YSK, Harold, please, can we be civil? Jamal was talking. Can you not interrupt Jamal? No, Jamal, Jamal, Jamal addressed what I said. So, so I, Jamal, you, so, so you were talking about Eden bowling in the second half. Continue, Jamal. Continue, Jamal. Yeah, I, I mean, these guys literally tried to break his angles. I mean, the, the ball control, the dribbling, the first touch. Jamal, it, it they was... tried to break his legs. They tried yeah. to break. You see, no, no. Okay, okay. Can Jamal. you shut up and let Jamal land? No, no, no. I, I, no, no, I, I, no, no, no. Okay, I'm sorry. Jamal, I But just one last thing, one last thing. Jamal, do you see that? Nobody was trying to foul... Cristiano, but they tried to find Hazard. That game showed you why what I said years ago is true. That mm -hmm. Eden Hazard has been and always was a better footballer than Cristiano. The better footballer, you have to hack on and break his legs. The worst foot for footballer, you allow him to, to go through. Fact, Jamal. See, you really are classless. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, for me personally, I'll still take the 24 25. Cristiano over Hazard, but yeah, now now Hazard is a way better footballer than, than Cristiano. But yeah, man, I mean, he's my guy, but he, he bricked it today. I mean, the full, the second chance was harder than it looked, but the first chance, I mean, come on, man. He at least have to hit the target. And people blaming Santos. He cannot blame Santos because the plan actually worked. These guys actually had the, the shots and the, the, the things to make this game to win the game. They had the chances to win this game. But they flopped, man. But guys, no one has been talking about this guy. And he coming as in his prime is Bernardo Silva. This guy has been absolutely trash this tournament. Every, yeah. Every, yeah, everyone is studying about Bruno and I see Jeff getting that cake today. But Bernardo Silva, this guy actually did nothing in this whole final round. And sure. So yeah, man. I have to say so Jota, Bruno, and 
Fernandez. I wonder where they come from. Okay. Bro, if I'm being real, ex Renato Sanchez, Rui Patricio, this Portugal team, and the, and the defense, Pepe and the defense, but this the Portuguese midfield and attack has been trash. I'm sorry for this whole four games I've watched. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't been good. I tell you, Renato Sanchez, Pepe, Rui Patricio. Other than that, <laughs> this team has been, and yes, he's also a racist. Yes. <laughs> and 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 he didn't clap for the, um, our Medal of Honor as well. So yeah, he, he, that guy, yeah, he's a racist. But yeah, man, all I just have to say is, Ronaldo, bro, did you guys see when he tried to die for that penalty? <laughs> I laughed when I see that. Did you guys start? Bro, no, 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 no. Jamal, Jamal, <laughs> I would have... Jamal, people on the stream would have would have had to roll Portsmouth to the police because I would have broken something. <laughs> Do you know? Because the guy had the audacity to go down and machine... I wanted you to listen to this ma machine. The guy had the audacity to go down and go, ah! So yeah. it's like the, yeah. the class... Let's not, sorry. <laughs> See, guys, that's why I want well, you to retire because Cristiano, you're making yourself look really bad because yeah. it, because Eden Hazard in that second half mm. completely showed you what a footballer does, yeah, and, and the more and more that you make yourself Tapenaldo and Penaldo, like Penaldo was trending, and <laughs> Penaldo oh, yeah. was trending. And the so, a, a man, a man, this amazing, superb winger who used to step up and everything. So now you're a penalty man. who you you just, you just go there, dive into win penalties. It's sad. It's sad. A, a, a man who got on his knees for Tottenham Hospitals cannot claim another man is shameless. And guys, oh, yeah, you, the last wait, thing I have to say, the heck? yeah, the last thing I have to say is, bro, I don't know if you guys know what KDB might. I don't know what's going on with him, man. I don't know if he's out for the tournament because guys say it was ankle ligaments, but it could be rumors. And I think Hazard also pulled his hamstring, man. So, bro, if Jamal, Jamal, I know, I know what happened. You know, <laughs> KDB, KDB, KDB. Every time he's having a disaster class, he <laughs> takes an injury. He takes an injury. Yeah. So, if they go in Italy without KDB, Jamal, Hazard, why are you ignoring, bro? Why are you ignoring my point, bro? <laughs> I, I, you know, because I'm a big fan of KDB, man. I don't, I don't really want that. Yeah, but how back. come every time he has a disaster class in a big game, he it's, gets into? It's okay, okay. Okay, see, I, I think that it's. <laughs> see, 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 it could either just be a weird coincidence mm. or just very suspicious. <laughs> it's like, either it's just oh, it's a coincidence, or why is it every single time that it's this a big game and a disaster class? Ground. Oh, I just run into Rudiger. Oh, I just got to my next. Like, <laughs> That's I mean, unbelievable. Wait, this guy really said he like, ran into you know, like, Is De Bruyne saying that, yo, I'm having a disaster class? Can you please so get KO'd? You got KO'd. Yo, I'm having a disaster class. Can you give me a black eye, please? And hey, Chid, your 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 heroes reviews have been quality, man. I mean, that has been one of the funniest things in the years. Your your um, your review. Yeah, you should you should keep on doing that. You should keep on doing. Yeah. Wait, editing, are you gonna do one for the crazy. round of sixteen? Are you gonna do it one for this yeah, round? Let's do round of sixteen. Wait, 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 you, you, mean, you mean when I do all the editor yeah, and the, the little yeah. edit? Yeah. yeah. Short 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 edit. Edit. yeah the short yeah. That's the yeah, lie. You, you know what? I'm gonna try and show yeah, you. Guys. Let's be honest. He's he's already started doing the preview for this one. Okay. See, I'm gonna try and show you guys what it's like to edit. Those are very hard to edit. Because yeah, very the amount of little things I have to put mm -hmm. in right in the script. I mean, like it's bloody fun to do, but those are very hard to edit. You know, you know what, what editing process do you use? It takes time. What editing process do you use? Yeah, no, no. Um I get you, man. What, what's it called? Um I'll show you a I'll, I'll show you a behind the scenes. Basically, it's Final Cut Pro X. Mm. Yeah, that um, takes a while. You have so much options. It takes forever. It takes forever. You know, you know the Santiago. You know, you know, you know the Santiago Munez. I will show you an image of what it looks like because you, I have to put the markers in at the right time. I've got to choose the oh, right the sound. sound. I've yeah. then got to now think about okay, like this. Do you know because I've got to think of the right jokes because like that's yeah. made the joke. I was like, oh no, that joke is going to be too too funny. Like when oh. Leo sees the green card. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't see the bricks. Yeah. The bricks. Oh, what happened, I what happened to wait, your wait, comic wait. book? What I, happened I to your it. comic book series where you had like Eden Hazard and Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo talking shit about the bricks? Zad died in Baku. Zad died in Baku. <laughs> <laughs> wait, and guys, I, I almost forget. 
It's between Larry Lane and Carrasco as brick of the tournament. Oh, no, 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 Eden Hazard play. So, 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 so wait, watching Eden Hazard play is like watching a Cristiano Ronaldo fan's troll video for Messi. Yeah. Lots of possession, lots of feckless dribbling. His younger bro better. Machine, your idol, your man, your fellow Portuguese icon is out. O U T. Machine, Eden Hazard is clear. Was always clear, has always been clear. Machine, that second half performance is what you call a football. Machine, your idol was trying to fall over to win penalties. Machine, he scored three penalties and two goals from open play. Machine, uh, he scored, and one of those goals was it's happened. Machine admitted he finished his over. Eden Hazard and his younger brother sent your man packing. <laughs> How many sales has Zard have? How many sales has How many sales has Zard have? Zero. Um, from Shane Chuba. <laughs> from Shane Chuba. So, so Shane says, reports say Torgan... You see, this is this is it. See, Shane, you see, Shane, okay, Shane has a very sick sense of humor. Let me just say this right now. I do not co-sign what Shane is about to say because he has a very rude sense of humor and... I reject what he says. Let me say that. I read that. So Shane says, I mean, respect, reports say Torgan may miss the quarterfinals to babysit his brother. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I blame this money. That's golden, bro. That's golden. That's that's not golden. That's my fault. It is good section. We see Hazard and Marco. Who gets the most? No, um, no, 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 no. guys. Thank the Lord that Eden Hazard showed up in that second because if he didn't, this would be a difficult stream. If Eden Hazard puts forth a disaster class after Tottenham scored that goal, it would be it would be a very hard stream. So we we, we need to I'm, talk I'm, about the tactics in the second half. We need to yeah. talk about those tactics in the now, second half from Belgium. But AJ, one of your boys is going home. Verratti or Hazard? <sighs> no, it's, it's, it's not even Hazard. Hazard is already going home because he's injured. So it's Verratti. Verratti is oh, going to be sanctioned in the, the next game anyway. He, he, he has Friday. Okay, wait. And finally from Machine. Machine says, funny how pundits put um, PT as favorites before the EC happened, only to bet against them every single match. <laughs> Could it be that they were t they were talking them up to inflate Cristiano Ronaldo's inevitable failure? This wow. is a team of oh wait, who is referring to by PT? Who is PT? Portugal. 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 Oh, okay, so we're gonna have a put out for it. Oh, who's PT? Who's okay, so, 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 the European So Mashi says, funny how pundits put Portugal as favorites before the European Championships happened, only to bet against them every single match. Mm. Could it be? That they were talking them up to inflict Cristiano Ronaldo's inevitable failure. This is a team of Johnny Men. Machine that classless. Machine that is even even by your standards, that's that's classless. First off, machine, you were defending champions. That's the first thing. Second thing, machine is nobody is gonna deny that that is still an extremely talented squad. And let's keep it real. Diaz header, points blank. Oh, Guerrero, Guerrero hit mm. the, the post. Jota had two great opportunities. Portugal had chances and opportunities. And mm. you saw Jao Felix, Sandra Sanchez was on the bench. Look at how, how good he was. Jao Felix, look at what he did went to, to, to change the game. So, sorry, that is still a very talented team. And I'm sorry, that is still next to France. That is the most talented squad in yep. Europe. Them and France. So, no, they should still be favourites. As defending champions and the second most talented squad, they should still be furious. So there's nothing in my bets against them. It was right. It's just that the talk showed up. <laughs> Can you, know? you speak hey, really The fact that you said Ruben Diaz is better than Van Dyke. Hmm? Um, Can Ruben you speak Diaz out the Who said that? Who said that? Can you speak out Chris. the No, we need to get to yeah, yeah, no, I don't know. No, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know who Ruben Diaz is. Um, 
Carrasco. Um, yeah. Larasco, Larasco. Sorry, Larasco. Do you, wait, I don't care. Okay, okay, can I just ask? Okay, no, because I already spoke about it. So maybe you guys can help me. What's wrong? Wait, what's wrong with this guy? He's a he's a he's a brain dead dribble merchant. But, but why wasn't he... like that for Atletico? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Why is you say this? But why wasn't he doing this for at, at Atletico? Bro, I don't, I don't know. He was no, he was like that towards the end of the season as well. Maybe, maybe, maybe something happened. Like no, he wasn't. No, 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 no. What's it called? The penultimate no, in, in the Champions League. In the Champions his League. back that led to um Cannibal scoring that clutch goal in the penultimate yeah. game. Yeah. So he no, was no. actually playing well for Atletico, but in the Champions League, he was doing this. He was doing this in the Champions League with his pointless dribbling. He's like a he's like a bum version of Neymar. It's like is like oh. constantly dribbling. There's no eff- effectiveness, and this was like it, this was literally sudden death in the game. And this guy's trying to do like he's doing he, he's doing uh, 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 pirouettes and he's trying to cut it back. What are you doing? There was a there was a chance where he could have literally. Played in players mm-hmm. on the, on on the break. There was two v four at one point. He somehow misplaced yep. the pass to Tillemans. He somehow misplaced the pass to Tillemans. It was two v four. What is I he think doing? he's believing in his own height. I think he's believing in his own height. What is he doing? Wow. H H H H. Someone said he thinks he's back in China. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> 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 Got to make that money, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's rude. That's 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 <laughs> man. Brutal. Brutal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's harsh, man. <laughs> oh, the reason why it's so funny is because this man is acting like this is like five on five or something where he's just dribbling without thinking. So obviously, in the Chinese Super League, you can do this and score. <laughs> but it's, you're playing in the European it, Championships. It, 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 doesn't even, it doesn't even look up. It doesn't even look up. He just looks down and dribbles. <laughs> Bro, there was an opportunity where it's like you're winning 1 0. There's 10 minutes to go. You're in the corner there. This guy tries to do a pure He's trying to cut back. He's trying to cut back. <laughs> because my thing is that if I'm Martinez, I'm like, Bro, like I'll, I'll ask Chefran, like, Bro, can we just like exchange this guy for someone? Because obviously, this guy has just gone, gone mad. Oh, yeah. guy, I mean, it's, just, it's, it's the most nonsense garbage that, that I've seen, you know. Um, so I mean, look, um, Belgium, I mean, okay, 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 let, let's just cut away from Portugal right now. Do you still see these guys? Perfect questions for guys. Should is Santos the right guy for the World Cup with this team? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I don't like he can't see, get the best say, out of like their offensive weapons. So nah. Say Santos is not the right guy, which is true to an extent because this team the 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 personnel in this team doesn't equate to what Santos's sort of philosophy is. So in a way, no, he's not the right man. But also you have to bearing in mind these these players, especially the likes of Jota, uh Bernardo Silva. Even even Bruno, I'll put him in there, Bruno. These guys, these guys have not turned up at all. So the tactics were again in this game, I feel like the tactics were spot on. I think he had the tactics on, on point and they were doing well. Then uh the the the, the talk turned up and then did some did some did a madness. So I think he had it on point, but then the, the players, guys, you, you you can blame the manager to a certain extent, but then the players have to turn up. There's but didn't he have that feeling still? But what did he do after coming on? I, I remember him uh, sending a ball to the moon uh, uh, at some point, and then um, dragging a shot wide. He didn't do much in the game, and also you have to you have to also understand that Felix hasn't been he's be, he's been he's not I don't know if he's under hundred percent fit. He's coming back from an injury. He hasn't started the tournament at all. So 
that's going to be very hard to integrate integrate him straight away into the team. Oh. He can experiment. He can experiment in the group stages, but bro, this is you know he has to go. He he essentially went with the team that he felt that he can trust. Oh. And and at the end of the day, they let him down. Oh. They let him down major. It's, oh. I'm I'm looking at Jota funny. You you want to go have, have a grab Bruno? Fine. I didn't say that about Bruno. I yet. said. I said, I said from the jump, Jota and uh, Bernardo Silva has been. They've they've provided uh, Cristiano with nothing. They've, yeah, they've but they're nothing. not there to create for him. I know, but hey, hey, no, no, no. Why is, why is, come they on, man! Didn't you see? Didn't you see that shot that Jota made in the first half, man? That that was that was quality, man. I also, I, he also, he also uh, uh, put one over the bar from uh, point blank range. <laughs> Yeah. So, there's there's no there's the guys don't been effective at all. The only goal that he got was like literally on the line. It was a it was a tap in, and that was that's it. The 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 two up front the attack, including Bruno because he's part of the attack. They've not been they've done nothing this whole tournament. So you, you can't you say the same for Ronaldo because Jota literally provided the same chance for Ronaldo to score his tap in. Would you, Ronaldo's got five goals? Three penalties, one tap in. You have to score them. Tell that to Morata. Ronaldo's the reason why Bruno's not having a good tournament. He stole all his pens. Morata's not in a good uh, tournament. See, we, there's no, there's no footballing reason for this. There's like, it's like it's kind of narrative flying left, right, and center. Anyways, but I think, I think they'll. I don't think Santos will be. I don't think Santos will leave or be sacked. I think he'll stay. And who do you bring in? I mean, Uncle Mu is too occupied with the Roma and those uh, uh, those bricks that we lubricated in the Europa League. Ernesto Valverde. So... Ernesto Valverde. That's who you bring in. Is he Portuguese? Oli. Ernesto. Nah, bring in Nuno. Nuno Espirito Santo. Nah, that's a, that's a good call. That's a good call. That yeah. Yeah. Really, that's, that's a good call. It just it won't happen. Because see, the reason why it's going to happen is because it's similar to the whole Deboa thing. This oh. wasn't on Santos. They yeah. would look at it and say, Jota, you missed your chances. Individuals didn't play play well. So there is nothing that Santos did tactically wrong. It's not like, oh my gosh, you got your tactics completely wrong or you got your subs wrong. No. The chances were there. The opportunities were, 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 were there. You were not outplayed. You were not um, outthought or so forth. Individuals just did not execute and get it done. Okay. It should, it should, Wait, can you explain why, why, why Nuno? Why Nuno? Why hmm? Nuno, bro? I don't think Nuno would work. He's defensive. He's too defensive. Oh, no, no. He's more. He's got more of an offensive plan than Santos. Santos is a super pragmatist. As for Santos, look at how um, his... Look at how Wolves play. Wolves, they have a very clear attacking plan. And when you have so much attacking talent on display coming through... You have to have a manager and a coach who can only really get the best out of these dudes. Basically, imagine if Belgium had a defensive coach. They wouldn't really be able to play the way that they play. But because Martinez is such an attacking guy, he now knows how to now form a really good, clear um, attacking personality with these dudes. So I think that's what... I, I actually is. disagree. I, I see Nuno as a defensive merchant. Like uh, in the Europa League last season against Sevilla, man, I've never seen a manager like like park the bus more than him. So I don't know, we might be watching two different managers, man. Well no, okay, okay. Maybe he may have done that now, but I know the wolves of I don't know whether a season or, or two ago, they played good football. Like whenever they were on the break, we see when they had Jota, there was like, no mm. no, these guys like they, you see when, whenever they they can't attack whenever they said no these guys actually have a a a, a clear full on plan man. So wait um because <clears throat> I wanna Talk more wait, about wait, um, HH. Um, yes. What about Zidane? No, no, no. That's that, that's 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 cheesy. That's cheesy. That's cheesy. Would you? Uh, mean Zidane cheesy? should go for France. Zidane yeah. for Portugal. No, that's that, that's 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 cheesy. No, come on. Relax. Wait, Zidane for Portugal? France. Yeah, Zidane that's that's cheesy. France. That's no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, that's the, that's that's an odd combination. There. Okay, okay. So, um, from MT, thank you for the dub. MT says slandering KDB after playing with one eye, shameless. <laughs> Look, I will say it and I say it again. One eye, two eyes, zero eyes, one leg, one testicle. KDB needs to show up in a major semi or in a major final. I'm tired of these excuses. 
until he shows up in a major semi and a major final, I am going to continue to have questions about how money this dude truly is. You know, simple as that. You know, so I don't think any, no, we're not slandering him. We're just giving him right that, you know, this guy just hasn't really shown up. Um, and MC again says, Carrasco, thank God Roberto swapped him with Zad. Oh, yeah, no, no, look, I mean, I don't think it was a super thing. Remember, Hazard wasn't fit to, to begin with. But my thing is that Carrasco, if he had played well in those two games, he could have maybe made it a difficult selection process for... Thinking, because put it this way, Carrasco should be in this team instead of Mertens. But he's played so badly. For whatever reason, maybe he's been... It's so like he's crappy. two different players. It's like he's two different players. No, yeah, I don't no. get it. Do you know what I believe? Because basically, there was a video on Instagram where like Eden Hazard is like having an interview and then you see Kras will come champ, say champion, they champions and everything to him and everything. He's hype. He's hype. And because he's so hype with them winning, he's playing like he's hype. So he must think that, oh, I was one of Atletico's key players in La Liga win. So I should just dribble every time I have the ball. No, you effing moron. Um, you're not messy. Yeah, Messi can do that. Neymar can do that. Not you. Because you're not Messi or Neymar. Pass the freaking ball. So if you're Matisse, you're like, no, I can't, I, I can't trust this, this clown. <laughs> so I have to now go. So if it's a case that, because obviously I, I want us to talk a little bit about Belgium, Italy. If it's a case that Hazard is missing and De Bruyne is missing, Belgium are screwed. Because then they have to play Carrasco. Yeah. Hey, respect Carrasco, man. No, 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 no. I, I, no, I, I respect him. No, the, the, guy, the guy is straight, straight, straight to garbage, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, quick question, man. Go for it. If De Bruyne do play in this uh, next game, which I heard he do, we can still blame De Bruyne for the failure of, of Belgium, or he got he got passed on this occasion. Um, I don't believe in in passes, so failure is a tough one. But what I'll say is, it's the same old story. Very talented player domestic merchants and i can't really call him an elite player because he's not yet had a big performance in a major semi or a major final simple as that now fair is a, is a deep one but it is worrying that it's yet another time when you've not really shown up in like a major semi or a major final for me boy machine think of the door machine machine says the world cup 2006 portugal team didn't get 100th of the hype this squad had, and it had Cavalio, Pepe, Deco, Manish, Cristiano, and Figo versus Felix, respect him, Fernandez, Jota, and Palinia. This team is Cristiano and Pepe meet the Rograts. You see, it's so funny <laughs> that, that this man says this kind of thing. <laughs> is that because if Portugal had beaten Belgium, mm. Unless they made uh, they, they made it to the same. It's a whole different conversation. It's yeah. a whole different conversation. And, I'm, and machine, I know that before the zero started, you were hyped with this Portuguese team. I know you were hyped. Wait, when it I comes to hyped. when it comes to Cristiano Ronaldo, do you think he's being utilized in the right position? I don't think he should be playing centrally he as they've been playing. Been they should be playing out the flank because he's doing the same. He's 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 dealing he's dealing with a problem of trying to inter, you know integrate. Uh, Ronaldo to his team, as Sorry oh, no. did with Juve. See, he, so he, it's he, like play him off the flank. That's what he's good at. Stop trying to play him centrally. He's not a. He's not it's a. Not an hour and he's not an hour and hour striker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's, he, his best position is either the left or even the right because he's he, he's used to playing on the right where he was at United. So he can still play on the right, but you can't play him straight down the middle because you he, he doesn't get him behind. Oh, sorry. He, when he gets him behind, this Portugal team didn't doesn't ever play the ball in behind. He's not the type of player to hold the ball up. So the guy is at his best on the wings. And you saw that in the second half, because in the second half, he was more out wide on the right. And you saw him, yeah. he, he played pretty decent, actually. You know, for a guy that hasn't dribbled in God knows how long, he, he did pretty well in that in that second half. So I don't. He, that's what I've been saying. He's not out and out striker. So that's a Santos problem for, for his tactical setup as well. So you should get blamed for that. I mean, yeah, I think Santos came into this tournament without knowing the certain level. I mean, that dude was just swapping, swapping, swapping. Things. Oh, but, 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 but Garfield, isn't that what we said at the beginning is that the benefit that Santos has is, wow, you have an amazing squad, 
But the difficulty is, do you really know the right lineup to 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 pick? No, because the, there is a right lineup that's gonna make you win games. Listen, and what, he was had the right lineup. Here's what here's what happened. The problem the problem is Santos was thinking that this was 2016 Portugal. This Martin Portugal. is your is is your boss? Aren't you supposed to be what? <laughs> I was gonna no. say. <laughs> yo, when did yo, he get it? Yo, you're so lucky. I was working to hear all the crap that you've had to say in this today, especially on. On, on that fat bastard. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I had to get on for a little bit because I'm on break right now. But yo, he played a good game in the second half, but he didn't have a master class. He's still a fat piece of shit that hasn't done anything in the tournament. Let's keep it a stack. Let's keep it a stack. The real Zard is Thorgan. The, I repeat myself again. The real Zard is Thorgan. Okay? Not that fat piece of crap that's that that you like to hype up all the time. Also, San, listen, Santos and on oh, going on to Santos, he shouldn't be coaching Portugal anymore because like he it's clear that he doesn't know how to u- utilize the players that he has right now at his disposal. Either get Mourinho or get uh, Nuno Espirito, Espirito Santo. That those are the two those are the two coaches that you need to get for the World Cup next year. But perfect. But I want Mourinho because. <laughs> Listen, the best case scenario for all of us and this hangout and for this channel is for Mourinho to win a World Cup with Cristiano Ronaldo. Because, like, Martin, uh, the narratives, bro. The narratives. Oh, he'll be conflicted, bro. bro. The the best, be conflicted. The, best thing, the best thing that can happen is to see HH literally stuck at a position because, like. Ah! Bro, you're oh actually crazy. Bro. You're, 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 a you're a psychopath. 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 Like, okay. hey, but you know, congrats to Belgium. Like, they you're, are, muted. you're muted. You're yeah, muted. muted. You. Wait, Martin, 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 technological break. Martin, can wait, Martin? Can you? Can, because Cristiano doesn't take my calls, can you ask him to retire? Why can't Cristiano retire now? He's, he's done enough. No, listen. You know what? You know what's gonna happen next year. You know what's gonna happen. It's already set in motion. You already know. You know this. Like I don't. Listen. Get all the. Martin, second- he, he's uploaded the video on, on on the on the channel. He's uploaded the video. We've already seen it. What video? The nightmare. The nightmare video. Oh yeah, I know. I know. But that's why. That's why I'm saying. Keep slandering the goat of this generation. I beg you, because that is gonna be extra special for next year. I am telling you right now, keep the slander because you know what's going to happen next year. You know what's going to yeah. happen. Someone but, said the event is finishing fifth next year. That's, that's the way he's going to be looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's, those are delusional haters. Oh, and by the way, another thing too, if you come on the live as a, as a moderator, and I already spoke to all of the mods out there, and we already came to an agreement for the most part. If you come on the live chat and all you do is talk shit about a sup- a superstar player, and then when the when a game when an important game comes and he loses, and I see you on the live chat, I am banning you from the live chat. So if you have to hold these clowns accountable. Man, all you loser, that's loser beta me- uh, mentality. I, from this, from. From the live chat for that day, so you won't have to talk crap. Because I know you want to do it. I know you want to do it, you losers. And no, Hakeem, Hakeem, also Hakeem. Wait, what is your this? Boy, your boy, your boy, uh, Lukaku didn't do shit today. So no, he's not. He's not. It just doesn't mean. Oh, Hashtag Tims, baby. Hashtag yeah, teams. Easy, Hakeem. Easy, Hakeem. Let's land on my boy. Let's land on my boy. What? 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 What can you enter fans? Possibly talk shit to me about like literally <laughs> one one trophy. In wait, 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 okay, 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 let's go. Right, 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 you be into like no, no, guys. It's not, it's no, 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 no. They're obsessed. They're obsessed. It's only, it's only Inter fans that care. It's only Inter fans that care about this. Like literally, Juve, we're we're chill, we're chilling. Like we're we're not we're not worried about it. It's just these Inter fans because they have this little brother mentality that they like to hype up all their players. Like what what is your well, point? Now, like, you got more time. You big man. So you little brother, big man. You got to play every time that you win, big man. So just relax, buddy. 
Okay. Oh, please. Future Mike, I don't want to hear from you. All right, let me let me hang up there, buddy. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Let's right now. What is Lautaro doing in the corporate right now? No, no, okay, okay, that's it. We are pulling off. We need to pull off right now. We need to pull off right now because pull off because we could because this is we've been derailed. So okay, let me just God, that was that was that was madness. Okay, so from MN. Emin says that Christina needs to hand over the free kicks to someone else. Can I just ask a question? When last did Christina score a free kick? Just have I a think it was last thing. Can't remember. Unless he scored one for you that I don't remember. So it was the 30th of oh. February, man. Oh, this, year? this year. 30th of February, yeah. Which, which club <laughs> was he playing against? No. <laughs> Okay, but there is no 30th that, of February. Like, my, he doesn't understand them, man. <laughs> Wait, did HH actually oh. think about that? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's what, trying to count. Did you as actually think about that? <laughs> He's trying to count. <laughs> no, 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 no. Count on the brick. Wait, no, 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 no. no, no. It's not just February. No, it's, just, it's just February this year. No. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Exist. What are you guys laughing at? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know that it doesn't exist. I know that it doesn't exist. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. <laughs> 20 days have the timber. Oh, no, no, no. Calendar break. Calendar break. Calendar break. Leave me. Leave me a break. 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 So, 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 look, my thing is that, look, what is it? Okay, look, Cristiano, I think that. He will never ever um, hand over free kick duties to someone else. It's, it's never happened because I think that he has too much pride, and he'll always believe that he can score. Even if insults Bruno all he wants, that was a great that was a great distance for Bruno. If he had given that Wait, to which Bruno, one? Which one? The one. You, you know where it was literally just it was out like the straight down the ball. middle and he hit the wall. Yeah, how no, no, that, yeah, that was too far. Out. That was, that was, that was too far, far out. for Bruno. What that was way too far. Yeah, out I think for Bruno. he means the one to keep us safe. Yes, it he was. was just outside of the box. Oh, no, he, no, 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 yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The one that he uh he shot it and it hit um Sancho uh Sanchez. That wasn't that far out. Yes, it was. Bruno wasn't gonna score from there. Did this guy just say Sancho? Oh, he's yes, no, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going. I'm, I'm going too far ahead. I'm going too far ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> relax. Relax. Yo, hey, no, no, no. Someone said that when Ronaldo, like him taking free kicks, imposes a danger to like oh, the, the people in the wall. That like it's causing too much brain damage because he's hitting the wall too much. You know what I mean? Wait, what, <laughs> was Carrasco? Was Carrasco on the pitch when he hit it? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually well, good. He probably, he was like. He, he 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 probably was. He probably. Was. I mean, maybe there was a time that that he that he when he was playing for Real, he smacked it at Krasko's head, and Krasko's head I just went to brain damage. That happened. But the first, one, the first one he took was good, man. The first one he took was good. That was good though. That was yeah, good. Yeah, it was good. Boy, it was a good save by um, um your your boy Kosua. Um, I don't need to say it's Kosua made in that game. Mm, okay, okay, wait. Okay, so MT says, um, he says by Zad. I meant Torgan, by the way. So he, he says that um, Ro, he says thank God Roberto swapped Carrasco for Zad. You see, um, he's called the Torque. Okay, Don't he's called me. the Torque, and know him as that. He's called the Torque. Zad. If he flop the next game, H H, we're blaming you. Okay, then he's called Thorgan. Okay, it's called Thorgan. Okay, so Thorgan, you've just, been protected. Or just call him Zad. Or just call him Zad. You, you've been well protected. From Latin Lozario says, Inter fans, learn your place. You don't want the smoke. Latin, um, where did you, you finish in the league last season? And who did you get knocked out to in the Champions League? I think it was FC Porto. So, uh, but guys, I want to take things back to um, Belgium. And look ahead to Belgium, Italy. What do we say? Hold on, HH. HH, I think this player will be key for Belgium. 
the Munich given your face, and you can now see the guy's skill and his impressions upon the game. But I think what it is, it, they are far more balanced, and there is a bit more craftiness and um, technique used with how they move the ball around. Carrasco is a ball. What if Carrasco never went to, to, to China? What if Carrasco kept on moving? Because something can be said. Carrasco is probably Belgium's best player now. Yeah, <laughs> and I defend that. Because but I wouldn't have. No, no, no. You don't understand. It is. Would have done this. this no, no, no. It is. You don't understand. You jinxed him. I'm not doing this like you're a brick analyst. I didn't. I didn't jinx, 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 jinx the guy. You had. Let's be honest. No, this isn't a jinx. Bro, it's gonna get to a point where you have best, to like pay for your life. Worst. Like it these footballers gonna have to pay for their life. Like it's gonna get to a point where like <laughs> it's gonna be life threatening. <laughs> look, look, look. Basically, guys, what are we saying, guys? Italy, Belgium. It where's the use? Where's the use? Where's the use? I don't know. It's loose. It's loose. How do you find these? Yeah, he's in the hospital, bro. Guys, Italy, Italy, Belgium. What are we saying? What are we saying, man? Mark, because, like, no, 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 because I said I'm going to stick with them. Who? Because I feel Italy have a better defense. I mean, they have a strong defense, and I think well, it's only the attack, man. If Brad, although to be fair, Immobile is a bit, he's okay. been suspect lately. But look, trust in a senior, and for some reason, I don't know why this guy is not playing Kaiser. Kaiser, I think that's his name. Yeah. Um, Kiesa. Kiesa, him, right. Break pronunciation. Nah, look, sorry, man. Whenever I keep, I keep thinking it's Chesia because it's, it's the way it's pronounced, but anyway. <laughs> look, sorry, man. Okay, that's, a, that, that, that's how it looks. Okay, it looks like Kiesa instead of Chesia. Anyway, Kiesa, I think he should play him in senior, although Berardi has been, it's only one game he's full up, so we don't want to. The lot is, 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 is it can be trash, man. Let's be honest. Exactly. But look, I think Italy have enough as long as they bench Verratti. The thing about Verratti, I didn't even talk about that last game. The thing about Verratti is that he's better coming off from the bench since he's yeah. injured. Think about it, HH. If Ver Verratti was the one trading those passes in the extra time against Austria, things would have been popping off rather than I think Locatelli would be better in starting than Verratti. So Italy need to get their lineup right. Against Belgium, if De Bruyne and Hazard are missing, then we'll trust in Togan. But I don't see anybody else coming to help them out because those two have been good. Lukaku needs help. We saw it against Denmark. He was trading passes, but without De Bruyne and Hazard on the pitch, he couldn't really do much. No, but, 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 but see, my thing is that if um, this is my assessment, if Italy play the way they play against Austria, Belgium are, are going to beat them. And and beat them pretty comfortably. See, the that's, the thing, that's the thing everybody talks about. Yeah, it's they, not they, about the mentality. They, they Do you really think Italy are going to underestimate Belgium the way they did? No, 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 no. It has oh, come on. It has nothing to do with the underestimate. I'm just saying that Belgium found it. I told you, Belgium were pretty fortunate that Togan Hazard hit that shot because those guys they don't, don't look like scoring. They they did not even sniff Patricio's goal because Portugal had that deep block. Italy don't set up like Portugal. Italy set up to try to attack. Look at how they looked like against Austria. So my thing is, it's not about underestimating them. So which is why it's going to be interesting. Because maybe my be like, okay, no, well, we're playing Belgium, this attack, we need to be a bit more compact. But I think Italy for the past two years have played this way. But the difficulty is um, they've not really played a tough opponent in a competitive game for a long time, specifically under Mancini. So we're really now going to see um, uh, Italy get test tested when they play these dudes, but, man. But see, I, see, oh, it's, it's, I think Italy sorry, played no. uh, Holland in the Nations League and they shut them down. I think like last year or something. They beat them at one note. AJ doesn't no, no, recognize no, no, the Nations no, 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 League. No, no, no. I said, I said oh. it may make it in this guy's you, <laughs> you see, the problem with Italy is even if you look at the last game, they were they, they were trying to finish the game as soon as the, the ref blew the whistle. It's almost as if they couldn't stay calm and collective. And in, in that's where that's where the maturity, that's where they need to mature as, as a team. And, and that's where I found weaknesses behind them. And I feel like... Their, their back, their back, their back line is not that solid, especially if they start pushing high. I feel like players like Lukaku, players like, you know, players like Token, they'll take advantage of that. 
So I, I don't this think it's just... everybody keeps saying Lukaku, Jordan. Some of those chances can fall to Carrasco. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That's no. My point is defensively, I don't think there's they're as solid as everyone depicts them as. I think I think this defense, if they push high, I'm looking at I'm look it, it depends who's on the ball and who's in and who's playing more of a positive football. I think that's the team that's gonna lose. No, yeah, I think that's the team that's gonna lose. Because if 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 their if their center backs start pushing high, I mean I could see I could see both defenses being teared apart. That that's the biggest problem between these two. They're, they're very similar in that manner. It's just that Italy have a better um offensive with kids coming in clutch and he's shown that he has that ability to carry the front lines. You also have their midfield. I think their midfield is superior compared to um Belgium. But it's it's yeah. it's about the setup that matters the most. Matthew Pessina and my boy, my dude. Marco, Marco Verratti. Oh, you know, no, 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 meet, meet, meet. See, see, no, meet. He's a very talented midfield here. Why is he? You're in the thin bit. Okay, you're you're in the thin bit. Lenny, you're sorry, in the thin bit. You see, I mean, okay. Let me, let, let's, because I want everyone to have a chance to talk. Um, As of right now, if you had to pick one, Italy or Belgium, Chris. Honestly, I just can't see Belgium beating uh, Italy with like their own defensive deficiencies. I still don't trust Lukaku in big games. Eden Hazard is kind of iffy. I don't expect Dorgan Hazard to score another Thunderbolt, and the Brenner might be missing. So no, I only it's, been see it's been confirmed. Italy. Hazard is out, is out of the coin. Yeah, no, no, nothing is confirmed. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Like, no, I don't know when, when, when this guy comes out, which is, it's confirmed. It's confirmed. <laughs> like, what source do you come with? You just look like that. Yeah, it's just one source. You just look like that. 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 So yeah, so it's like I only see one real winner, and that's like Italy. I think like two one or two no. Uh, Gatlock. Oh, yes, so I think Gatlock. I think so. You already said Italy. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. They're my dark horses, so I'm going to stick okay. with them. Italy. Daria. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm going with Italy because except for Lukaku, I don't. Who who else really gonna help you may score? Because uh, Hazardo, you got Tor gun, but. I think this is one of the match. I don't know if you turn it and do anything else. And then I got Carrasco. I think my I think my granny could play better than Carrasco right now. So uh, I I go with Italy, man. I, I hope my uh Pacina can score. You got my boy that could come off the bench, Raspadori. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <Bro. laughs> <laughs> Court. <laughs> So when Court talks about sources, it's Abdullah. And then when it's Abdullah, when it's Abdullah talk about sources, it's Court. <laughs> Just the back and forth. Yo, yo, itch, 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 itch. Do you remember this, this one? Can I play against my city? No. Ziyech, Timo Vena, and Kayavad. That is what he's going to play against my city. So he's going to start Ziyech. Yes. So no the bench mount? Mount is coming from the bench. It is a lie. It's not happening. It's, it's not happening. Mount is coming from the bench. He'd never do that. Actually, He'd never do that. I'm guaranteeing you that Mount is coming from the bench. He'd never do that. You see, put, put Werner and Havertz. That's what it's going to be. Guaranteed, man. Guaranteed. Totally guaranteed. <laughs> look, 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 please. LB, talk, talk, talk something for me, please, my LB. Belgium or Italy? The way um, Belgium played today, um, it wasn't very convincing despite the win. And I think Italy are in really good form. So Italy 2-1. All right. Um, what's it called? Um, Sean Shergill, man. Talk to me. Who's um, Italy or, or Belgium, man? Uh, I'm going to say Italy. Because um, for Belgium, I don't really see how anyone's going to... What What midfielders can beat the press for Belgium? What midfielders can really beat the press? Because Italy really suffocate teams early on, especially. Even against Austria, they really suffocate them early on. And if they get an early goal, I don't see how Italy are going to lose it, to be to be honest. Um, Zeman? Is it confirmed that Hazard's out? 
Okay, so give me. Okay, give me. Is your score difference if he's playing or if he's not playing? If he's playing, it's it's different. Okay, okay, so okay, so if Hazard is playing, what's 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 the score? The score is two one, two one Belgium. If he's not playing, the score is uh, one zero Italy. Okay, um, Abdul. <clears throat> yeah, for me actually, I also was interested to know whether or not Hazard was gonna play and be available because, you know, if he isn't gonna play, it's a bigger advantage for Belgium. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> wait, 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 what, 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 what's Robert Kimori about? What? what, what? <laughs> You know the thing. I, I I just said I want confirmation on whether or not he's playing, because if he's playing, I think Italy's gonna win. If he's not playing, I think Belgium is gonna win. <laughs> yeah, for people who are saying, um, "What did I get my sauce from?" After the master, I'm lucky. Like, nobody left. Let me respond. Give me a score. Give me a score. Because I watched the match. No one cares. I'm lucky. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Give me, give me the scoreline for Italy Belgium. Is it gonna be the next match or like you're talking about the scenario? What if Italy Belgium? Give me the scoreline prediction of Italy against Belgium in the European Championships of 2021. If McDonald's that play, uh, I could say like. Two one to Belgium, but if, if that if that um that McDonald's that doesn't play like that injury prone man doesn't play, I could say two new Italy. Okay, Waske, what do we say? And I think that Verratti needs to show people how talented is. Because for me, I'm an I'm I'm an eye test dimensions because I I don't care about your stats or whatever. I just look at football based on my own two eyes. And when I see Verratti, I'm like. Boom, because central midfield was my position. So when you see how Verratti plays in terms of how he tackles, how he defends, how he passes, his balance, or just how good he looks in the ball. No, no, no. This guy, for me, is the most naturally talented footballing midfielder of his generation. So I, I, I could have sworn this guy said that um, center back was his position. Bro. <clears throat> um, Why is he, are you going to give a prediction or do I have to virtually punch you in the face? <laughs> Let's not get aggressive. Um, I'm gonna say two nil to Belgium. Depends. Also depends on what Abdul said. <laughs> it is input processing output. The guys are processing. Wait, do you have a problem with the city? I, 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 I think I think he actually wants to punch me right now. No, no, no. <laughs> you know when okay, there's wait, all wait, those... wait, hey Chase, just zoom into. You. <laughs> wait, I know, I know. I'll cheer him up. I know. I'll cheer him up. <laughs> See, he loves it really. He lo <laughs> you need to send him a video of Ronaldo dribbling. Yeah. Send him that Man United cup. Please man. don't. Please don't. Oh. Please don't. I wanna. I'm going. Um, what are we? What are we? Also, oh, live chat as well. England, Germany. What, what, what are we seeing? Panel, live chat. England, Germany. What are we seeing? England or Germany? Three one. Germany is gonna lubricate Arsenal. I mean, England. <laughs> Arsenal. Arsenal. No, no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He said Arsenal. <laughs> Chris, Chris, Chris. 
Why? <laughs> how? How? How did that? Okay, first of all, okay, okay, okay. okay let's go. Through. Arsenal get abused no, no, way no, no, too no, no, much, hold up, man. Hold up, hold up. Permit table team. Chris, no way, guys. Like first division. Chris, are you an Arsenal fan? Chris, are you an Arsenal fan? <laughs> no, I'm a Liverpool fan. So, Chris, where did Arsenal come in? Wait, how was Arsenal even in your brain? <laughs> Chris, we're not leaving. Chris, Chris, I'm not because I have to go and watch this NBA playoff game. So I'm not leaving until you tell me why the bloody heck you, you said Arsenal. Why was Arsenal in your brain if you're a Liverpool fan? Nah, I just think I, I associate lubrications with Arsenal. So <laughs> Wait, so you're thinking on lubrications? Easy, why is it relaxed? Chill, why is it calm? So, so, Chris, because you're saying that it's Germany is getting lubricated or England with no, no. lubricated, who's getting low lubricated? England, definitely. Chris, you realize that me and YSK live in this country and we have to yeah, just, yeah. as foreigners in this country. So, I think, I think you should have some respect for us, you know. Yeah, I so, and I think you should try to um f wish for our safety as um, <laughs> um, people like that. Man, so, so okay, 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 what makes you say that Germany are going to lubricate them? It 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 hold on, it it look at your super chats, bro. Where are this guy been since May 2019? <laughs> Latsa, that's a big pause, by the way. Latza, um, after the Euros and Copa America is done, I'm gonna I'm gonna clown you and your club for the next few months. I told you, you went off light. You are so lucky that it was the Euros and the Copa America. They said because trust me, I am not done being the extremely annoying, arrogant guy that I am. So, Latza, I would Latza. Why don't you? Tell Pep to spend another, another trillion mm. and try again to win the Champions League. Maybe spend five trillion. Maybe spend, spend even ten trillion, and, and then try and win it. Um, guys, look, man. Um, it's been swell. It's been lovely. It's been sassy. And guys, I will see you guys next Friday for yep. um, our reaction to. The Friday, because Friday is his quarter for Yeah, so guys, I'll see. You. Maybe no, next Saturday. I'll see you guys next Saturday. Friday, we're going to bring over the, the Q and A next Friday. So just one thing for you, go quick. Uh, I know it's time in England is funny. Can you do Copa America watch alongs? I know it's time in England is kind of funny. Um, too much, bro. bro. It's too much. Like literally, yeah, no problem, like, no problem, I, no I told you. After all the stuff is is done, I am going on a like a two week holiday. Like physically, I am just spent, man. <laughs> so, bro. I will try my best, but so no quarter pre final preview on Thursday. Guys, peace out, stay true. Right. One love, peace. one love, one love.